So, when on the last video I said that GNOME 47 is the first GNOME release that Wayland actually works, I wasn't be shitting you. My full workflow is now perfectly playable under Wayland and NVIDIA. That includes game developing, coding, screen sharing, and obviously video editing. Misses a couple of things though, like touch, VR, and multi-monitor support, so I can't promise you what's up there, but from the bug reports should be mostly fine. Anywho, now that everything's okay with Way, it's time for the next logical step. To completely get rid of X, maybe? Luckily, GNOME 47 is giving us this option, not exactly removing it, but not building it. So I'm gonna do that, and you can follow if you want. If you're wondering why I'm even bothering, um, well, there are a couple of reasons. To begin with, I want to prove you my point that I really not BS you, and from now on, I'll be Wayland only. And then, it's the practical side of things. Because I compile GNOME from sources, I can speed up the process by removing some build targets. But you know what? Before anything else, it's a personality thing. I just don't want to keep any kind of relationship with my ex. Have a nice day, and please, die alone away from me. Alright, enough said, let's do this already. The modules that are affected, so you need to clone and build, is obviously the Mutter compositor. Then, it's the GNOME session, the GDM login manager, and GNOME shell, okay? Um, in the meantime, I don't think all the work is 100% done, so we'll hardly see some distribution shipping a Wayland-only GNOME, so if you need that, you should get your hands a bit dirty. Before you start, you need the development dependencies. For Fedora, you will use the DNF build dep, Arch Linux includes by default the development files, and for Debian, you can say apt build dep. Easy, huh? All right, let's build, and basically let's create a directory to put all our things inside. Next, I'm going to clone Mutter, and I will do a shallow clone to save me time. That's the depth option, if you don't know, and it only keeps the latest commits and not the full history. The other thing is that here I'm checking out on main, but if you want to actually do that for your gnome, you need to check out on 47 branch at some point, basically when gnome gets a stable release. Um, I'm going to build Mutter only. No point to build everything. It is exactly the same procedure for all the rest. Are you fine with that? Okay, first things first. Let's disable X11 support from the build options. Um, um, mm. here we are. X11 option, set value to false. Basically, we can even drop the X Wayland support too in like 30 years from now, maybe? One more thing to do here is to completely disable the tests. They just steal an enormous amount of build time, so you most probably want to do that. Set this value to disabled. Now, we need to initialize the build. So Mason setup, I will name the build directory underscore build, and I will build everything on slash USR so it will overwrite the system files. If you don't pass that option, by default it will install it on USR and local. All good, chief. The X11 support is off. Oh god, how retarded I actually am. Pff. Those were the tests, that's the actual build option. Sorry. All right, back to our build, and we just need to build it by the way. To fully revert the changes, you can reinstall your distro packages and they will overwrite your custom build. Mm, I'm skipping a few details here, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out if you face issues. And so you need to repeat this for GNOME Session, GDM, and Shell. And actually I'm creating this little movie in such build so I can ensure you it fucking works. But I'm so super curious to see how many code will be removed when they actually drop the X11 support from the source tree. In the meantime, I wasn't completely honest with you. Not everything works. So Blender works, Unity works, but KDE Live? No! You little